So we can open a file, we can, well, we can create a file, we can open a file, we can write to the file, but now we want to read from the file. So how do we do that? Well, we need to put some sort of timing on here just for the sake of uh, making it easier for ourselves. So I'm going to do something like, well, let's say if, if millis is less than 10,000, which is basically 10 seconds, then do, what I, do all this stuff here. Alright, so, well the Arduino has been on for less than 10 seconds, do all this stuff here. Well, actually not while, but if, you know. Now over here, we want to say, if millis is greater, um, else, control T that, uh, we want to, well, we'll get rid of that as well. So if it's greater than second, 10 seconds, we want to read from it. And we'll have a delay on there as well. So it'll read every second, even though it's going to be the same same stuff. But just to show you this thing working. So what do we want to do here? We want to open again. So file equals this. Let's put that there. So open. Now it doesn't actually have to be um, uh, file write anymore. We just want to open the file to read it so we'll say open there and now we want to do if my if the file in other words it might be open but can we access it so if we can access it I've done that again haven't I put another one of those so if we can access the file we want to say something like yeah we can access it uh, well in fact let's have we done it over here yeah okay we can read so uh, okay we can read so now we can read we want to actually read so we're going to say while uh, while file dot available and that means while data is available to be read let's check these parentheses again yeah they're fine while there's data to be read then we want to do serial dot uh, right now be serial right or serial dot right line Ooh. might actually be right in this circumstance so I'm going to say file right file dot read file dot read and there we go so that should read and of course we need to close the file so file dot close so we can close that uh, semicolon right uh, if file um, here we need to say you know we can't read it for some for whatever reason so here we can't read for whatever reason so now this should read so we've we're right into the file here for 10 seconds and after the Arduino has been on for 10 seconds then we're opening the file, we're going to read something, and we're going to close it, and we're going to wait a second. So now, uh, let's upload this again, and see the progress. This usually takes a few seconds. Done uploading, right. Let's see what happens now. Okay, we can write, file exists, okay, we can write. So it should do this nine, probably nine or ten seconds, and then it will read whatever's in there. There we go. And it'll do that every second. Okay, we can read. So what we need to do now at this point is we've, we've written stuff to it, we're reading it every second, but now we need to delete it. So I suppose what we could do is, um, it's kind of bad practice, but I'm only trying to show you. After the end of this, we could say, you know, delete the file. So what's a good way of getting around this? Okay, I know what we'll do. Let's get rid of this else thing, actually, and take the if instead. Let's move the if over there like that. And so we've got if millis is less than 10, 10 seconds, do that. But if millis is greater than 10 seconds, and it's less than, I need to do millis again, if millis is greater than 10 seconds and millis is less than 20 seconds, then read it, 
Then over here, we're going to say, um, in fact, let's put that in there. <coughs> then we're going to say, uh, if it's greater than 10 seconds, uh, sorry, 20 seconds, then delete the file. This is really terrible programming because the, the timing is awful, but just to show you, it'll work. So what are we going to do here? Delete. So we want to delete the file now. So um, let's have some serial print then. So preparing, we want to say preparing to delete really. Preparing to delete. Preparing to delete. Preparing to delete. And now we want to, we want to do uh, sd dot remove or delete probably remove yeah remove and then it will be the file name remove file name which is log dot txt and hopefully that should remove it so is there anything else we want to do um I suppose you could see if the file exists but what would be the point really um um yeah, in fact, we will do that. Where's exists? It's around here somewhere. Here we go. Delete. So we're removing it there, and then we're going to say, if it exists, then whatever. I've done it again with that parenthesis thing. So if it exists, then... Um, well, in fact, it's better to say if it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, then delete successful. File delete id file deleted and I suppose this would be an error really file not deleted file not deleted okay and um, that's everything really um, that's the whole thing so we're reading yeah, so for the first 10 seconds we write, and from the next 10 seconds to 20 seconds we read over and over again. Just suppose that's a bit too fast, we'll say there. Basically read it four or five times. Then we want to say over here, we want to say if it's greater than 20, 20,000 milliseconds or 20 seconds, then we want to delete the file. <laughs> and actually... Uh, there should probably be some error catch in there, but I don't really know exactly how that works. It, it should be okay. Um, so let's upload it now and, and see what happens. So control and U. Right. <coughs> and uh, let's test it out. Uploading. Done. So it's writing for 10 seconds. Split into second increments. Then it's reading. Every two seconds it reads it all again. Then after 20 seconds it should delete it. Yep. Let's turn that auto scroll off. Preparing to delete. File deleted. And of course it goes over and over and over again. I suppose what you could do here is if it exists, then delete. Otherwise, don't delete. That would be better programming, and in fact, the timing of this program is terrible. But just to show you that the thing actually works. So, um, I'll tell you what I'll do, just for the sake of it. I'll restart the sketch. And then before it gets deleted, I'll pull the SD card out of the Arduino. So, are we ready? Pull it out. There we go. Right, so I've taken that out and now I'm going to plug it into my computer. And hopefully you'll see the file with the um, with the data in it. Let's see. Which one was it now? I think it was test log, was it? Something like that? No, log. And there you go. So you can see that I've created a file. Um, I've written to the file. I've read from the file and then in the end I deleted the file. So this time actually I'll leave it in and show you again. So I'm going to leave it in, restart the Arduino. So this time it will create the file uh, if it's already there. It will write to it 
it will read from it and then it will delete the file then I'm going to take the SD card out put it into my PC and you should see that the file is gone and the file is called log.txt so it's going to create it and then eventually it'll delete it so when it deletes it I'll take it back out put it in the PC are we ready take the card out put it into my converter plug it in and it should come up um, you can see that log, uh, this test log smells, but log.txt is gone. And there you go. So that's how to uh, create a file, write to the file, read from the file, and delete the file using uh, the Arduino SD card module and the Arduino and a few lines of code. So I hope you found this video useful, and as usual, thank you for watching. Bye.